huge megastar in the Muslim world. So yeah. after he beat Conor McGregor, he went on like this tour of all the Muslim countries. So he's he's going into Turkey, he's going into Saudi Arabia, he's going to Abu Dhabi, he's going over to Dubai, and they're raining on him. I mean, he didn't even make it back to his dressing room after the fight, and Putin was on the phone. And Putin gave him and his father like $20 million worth of property in, in, in Russia. Um, then he went into, you know, the Muslim territories where these guys are just cars, money, what, gyms, whatever, whatever he wanted. So when, once you get to that level, it's, it's, it's like what we're dealing with with Conor. Uh, look, I'm going to be real with you. I'm calling out Jake. You're calling out Jake Paul. I would love to fight you. Dude. He'll take wow. the, he'll take the, he'll Hold take the, he'll take the I don't fight. call, I don't, I don't, I don't call or talk to too many people who call him out, but Jake is the one. And a lot of these up and coming people, when I talked about insurance for fighters and so on and so forth, I plant that seed. And a lot of these other he'll fighters, they go and they, what they do is they take it to another level. He'll take them, but uncle Dana will be mad as you take that fight. Though. I don't give a fuck what Dana says. He knows already. He don't know me shit and I don't know him nothing. I've done enough for this fucking company. When